Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Video Channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with learning Scratch Blocks. And in this video today we are trying to explain how and when to use Scratch Block which is named Abs of, Abs of or Absolute of. That is one of the green blocks, the operator blocks and it's the last of those. So click and drag uh, the last operator block. But uh, first of all, let's uh, see where we are going to use it. Uh, we have used for our game, we have used this girl to ask uh, the cat questions about uh, some kind of uh, grammar questions about uh, language problems and so on. And this girl here, which is named Avery, uh, we'll um, ask Cat a question, for example, about math, mathematics. Uh, we have already made one question, which was how many fingers humans have on the hand, and we have used OR block in last video. So let's not drag and drop this apps of block to see how we went to use it. First of all, I'm going to need a uh, a uh, little bit space here and then I'm going to need uh, more questions here and more blocks which will make questions and because I don't want to click and drag uh, 50 times here up and down and to find right blocks much easier for me is just to click on this girl which we have coded before Anina Dance and use this huge block group of blocks copy and then copy paste to this other character to this other girl and copy paste works with uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't with uh, uh, clicking on the group of blocks or one block which you want to copy and then drag it onto the backpack and uh, sometimes it doesn't work now we are going to check if it worked it should be the first block yeah it worked cool so i'm going to uh, use some of those blocks let me see what kind of blocks are we going to use first of all i'm going to detach a few of those ask okay ask so Oops, so I want to detach every ask question and I'm going to delete this when this spray clicked. Why? Because I already have it here. And okay, let me see what can I use here. Can you help me with my English homework? Type yes or no. So instead of English, I will use math homework. If the answer is yes, say great, thank you very much, and wait for uh, for four seconds. And if the answer is no or something else, uh, say, oh well, then no more questions for you. Uh, attack the cat, bet attack. We don't need this. Attack the cat and bet attack. With, that's for some other situation. Okay, so I'm going now to use it here. Uh, the girl will first say uh, hello uh, username how are you username is my username then it will ask the cat can you help me with my math homework yes or no okay so if the answer is yes uh, thank you very much and if the answer is no no more questions for you okay then she's going to ask the cat how many fingers humans have on one hand okay um, yeah we need to stop the script I have deleted that accidentally okay um, because here if the girl says okay you don't want to help me no more questions for you I need stop the script Uh, 
Oh, maybe it wasn't copied that way. I don't know. Not sure. Uh, same with here. I'm adding stop the script when the answer is negative, when the cat is giving the wrong answer, or the cat doesn't want to help the girl with the math lessons then i need to stop the script we have learned that blog before okay so now let's uh, see uh, how to use one of those pre-made blocks here with this new block apps off okay finally we got to it okay first of all what this apps off means it means it's a shorter version of absolute and that means if you have negative or positive number it will always turn the that number into its positive version so for example if i have four it will stay plus four but if i have minus four and use this absolute of it will turn it into plus four so you see if it's minus 24 it will become 24 and when you're going to use this, uh, well, for example, I think we had uh, one stage here uh, with uh, x and y directions, right? Uh, just let me see how to zoom it, yeah. Uh, so, uh, for example, you can see that if you, um, if you go to the left and right, that's the x coordinate, the x axis, and on the left we have the negative numbers minus 100 minus 200 and so on so when you want uh, if you imagine that the cat is somewhere here on the left side of this axis and then uh, you want to see how far she is from the coordinate beginning from the zero so uh, you can use uh, you can use uh, some uh, some of the blocks which we have learned before uh, and to measure that distance but the all distance will always be negative if you go to the left and that's because the left um, coordinate axis is showing negative numbers so if you're going to the right it will be 100 200 and so on and if you go to the left it will be minus 100 minus 200 and so on so if you want to show up how far the cat is from the coordinate uh, start uh, you will use this for example this apps of to turn those negative numbers into positive and that way you can say okay cat is 24 pixels to the left you're not going to say it's minus 24 it doesn't make much sense in the real world and for the words which we are using uh, when we want to describe a length or so on the length is always positive in a real world okay other than that if you click on this drop down menu you can see that there are tons of other uh, functions math functions mathematical functions and some of the those are really really complex and you can uh, make um, really complex uh, math uh, calculations with those some of you are maybe older and uh, know how to use them if you are younger and don't uh, know how to use them don't worry you, you don't have to use them if you don't want but if you are going to try to make some kind of math games or maybe some complex movements and complex drawings it's uh, not bad to try to learn them uh, one of those uh, uh, you have a couple of those uh, trigonometry functions uh, which are uh, sinus, cosinus, and so on, and they are used, for example, <coughs> in some games for movement. So, for example, if you want your spaceship to move like this in sinus waves, that means up and down in like in wave-like pattern. You can use this uh, sinus function and so on. But that's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial and this video and we will have to explain it in a special tutorial in uh, our case we're going to use some simple uh, math function like uh, for example not absolute maybe that's too simple but square root uh, 
uh, square root is a math function which helps you um, yeah it, it gives you square root I will explain it with the calculator because my English is not uh, best and uh, I cannot find the terms which I want in English now so uh, it's easier to show here square root of the 9 is how much 3 because if you multiply 3 3 times it will give 9 and so on 64 it will be 8 100 square root will be 10 and so on and some numbers of course don't have uh, square root in the whole numbers but uh, they have some decimal points and numbers be, uh, behind the decimal points too so it's uh, just be aware of, of that if you're making some kind of game use numbers which have a square root as a whole number and that's what we are going to use in this case and for example in our case the girl will ask the cat how ma uh, how what is the square root of 64 and that the answer will be 8 so let's make that question I have already copied this question from this girl here but it's a question about language about grammar so now I have to turn it into math question so let's do it instead of how many letters are in word banana we are going to say what is the square root of number 64 type the right number if the answer is square root of 64 say cool thank you very much and if it's not say are you sure try again and stop this script okay this makes sense to me but not sure if it will work we will uh, test it right now but first of all let me see if I edit here at the end uh, to test it I will have to answer the first question then the second question and then this question I just made uh, that's maybe not too much uh, uh, problem uh, that's not too big of a problem for me right now because there are only two questions in front of me until I come to this question to this new question but uh, sometimes it will be much much longer uh, group of blocks in front of you to test it so if you want to avoid that just say like this okay I don't need this first question I don't need, th need this second question for now so let me detach them like this for a second and let me just test this third question which we just made now so sometimes it's um, easier that way to detach a, a huge group of block just to test your new block faster that's allowed nobody cares nobody knows what you have done and that's not uh, cheating <laughs> so for example like here if I had some new blocks here I'm not going to test all of these older blocks again and again and again because it will take time I will just detach them touch new and so on okay let's go to this girl here and see what we have just made here uh, I'm going right away to the second girl here and I'm going to ask her hello K for all how are you what is the oh yeah I have a problem with this timer here what is the square root of number 64 type the right number the right number is 8 cool thank you very much so it works uh, but let's test with some negative number just to see uh, with the wrong answer sorry so uh, what is the square root of number 64 let's try 785 6 are you sure try again okay so this works and that's cool and maybe I can test uh, one more thing 
here so instead of uh, yeah we have used here the right thing we said what is the square root of number 64 type the right number but if someone typed instead of number 80 someone typed uh, number 8 as a, as a word what would happen so if I type 8 like this as a number it will work we have already tried that but if I type this as 8 as a word it won't work I think so yeah so if you want to add that option too then uh, we have learned that in previous video uh, that's one of those or block one of those operator blocks like we have used here with this girl here so uh, uh, no what we have used it for in which one I forgot probably yeah somewhere here oh yeah somewhere here I think for also for the every girl yeah uh, also for the every girl but uh, for the quir f for the first question how many fingers humans have on the one hand if the answer is five or five as a word then say okay so maybe if you want to make it like this then just copy paste this or block I, th I think you know how to do it now I'm not going to do it for you because you should be able to do it on your own and also this video already took a lot of time for us uh, but I think we have learned uh, something new here uh, this uh, apps of block which is mat block operator block and it will help you do some kind of math uh, problems use it in math questions or use it uh, when you want to calculate something and as i said before it's used in uh, uh, a lot of those uh, functions can be used in some really really complex movements or when you want to spawn your enemies or players in some specific uh, way in sp some wave or something like that in some function like view and so on so it will be useful but maybe not so much on basic games uh, but anyway we have learned it here and i think there is one similar yes this model 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 which will we will explain in later in maybe next video but again it's just a simple math function okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh, I think we are close to finishing uh, basics of this game so after that it will be polishing and that's it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.